my name is Crody, and we've been telling you about Couple Sansusi from the start of the show. Now, you want some real info if you're planning a romantic getaway? Listen up, pretties. Sansusi is a very exclusive property. Uh, you know, we are located about uh, 10 minutes out of Ocho Rios. We are in a very private, exclusive location. We have uh, uh, one, two, about three beaches, you know, that are located on the property. One is right here by the spa area. It was the original beach of uh, Sansusi in, in, in the 50s when the, the entire place was started to develop as a hotel and you know, and what it is today. And uh, of course, we have our main beach where we have our main attractions uh, for water sports and of course, beach use. And of course, we have, after the bluff there, we have our own natural facility called Sunset Beach. And uh, all those beaches offering you uh, pool facility, restaurant facility, showers, jacuzzis, you know, all the facility that uh, you're looking for in a, in a resort. You know, this hotel has uh, 150 suite and they are all ocean view. Uh, we have the one on the beach that's called Beachfront Suite and they are the most popular one, but also the one on, on the upper side of the property. They are the older suites, the one that were built the first time. Uh, they are very popular because they have large balcony with some incredible view of, uh, of the sea. So this property cater for uh, couples who want to enjoy a very private, exclusive, relaxed vacations. We cater also for honeymooners, of course. And uh, we do weddings on a regular basis here at the resorts, you know. So we have an entire wedding department who's taking care of uh, all the weddings. You know, this hotel has been uh, in the market in Jamaica for a long time, you know. We're talking over 50 years. So he has been a, very, a pioneer of the hotel industry here in the, in the country. So we are constantly upgrading the resort. And we have an incredible uh, repeat guest uh, uh, you know, that coming back to the resorts uh, year after year. You know, we offer 24 hours food service and we have mini bars in all their suites. So it's a, it's, a great, it's a great facility. In addition to that, we have the famous Charlie Spa, which has been, you know, always rating one of the best spa in the Caribbean. Uh, one of the first spa in the Caribbean, uh, including with a mineral pool because we have various mineral spring, you know, that we use here on property. And, and that make it either extra, you know, for the, for, the, for the property. This is very unique, you know, you're not going to find a second hotel like this in Jamaica and in the Caribbean and in the world. As many celebrity through the year has been coming here, you know, the recent was uh, uh, Mrs. Shepard, you know, who's a very known, uh, um, you know, artist in, in the United States. You mean Sherry Shepard from The View? Yes, Sherry Shepard from The View was just here just a few weeks ago. I had the pleasure to host uh, Luciano Pavarotti here twice and it was a, it was a incredible experience. Uh, you know, Usher, the singer Usher, you know, uh, has been here also a couple of times, you know. Uh, uh, Jimmy Cliff, of course, because this hotel actually hosted one of the James Bond movie, you know, Live and Let Die. And Roger Moore was right, right here, and we had this uh, sweet name, uh, you know, for him. And uh, and still today, you know, the Roger Moore exists here at the at the resort. So all the staff here at the resort are service oriented, and all of them are very attached to the property and they pay very special attention to our guests. 
Our major market, of course, is the US. Uh, Canada is our second largest, and after that, I will say the UK, and of course, Europe. It's a in magnificent, uh, you know, uh, locations. Uh, the feel that you have when you stay in at Saint Susi is extremely, extremely uh, stressful. That's what is called Saint Susi, meaning no worries, no problems. So we give you that kind of feel when you come to this resort, and the staff that is uh, actually working here has the same sense and has the same priority is to make sure that our guests enjoy this vacation as best. That's just some of what you really need to know about Couples San Susi, but you need to come down and check it out. Now, Miss Jamaica UK Gem Affair was recently in the island. Of course, I got the opportunity to stand beside her and talk to her. Check it out, Gem Affair, Prudis. What doesn't bring me to Jamaica? <laughs> um, any opportunity I have to come here, I just snatch it, grab it, get on the next plane, and you know, doing a lot of media and having a really good time. Like any other pageant where you have a country involved, I'm a representative, so I'm a very proud ambassador of Jamaica in the UK, across the diaspora. So all the Caribbean events, you know, not just the parties, but you know, some of the important events with the J Jamaica Tourist Board or, you know, the High Commission. So there are some really important roles to fulfill. Of course, charities as well. So I'm always involved in supporting a good cause. What was the vibe like in London at the time, being a Jamaican? Mad. It was mad, honestly. It was so much fun, especially because it really brought the Jamaican community in the UK together. So, you know, we were just going crazy. Every I had my flag out. We were all representing really hard, you know, and speaking. It was, do you know what was nice? To see the celebrations in Jamaica as well. So we were all together watching on the television, you know, how crazy it was, the parades that were happening in Kingston and across the island. So, yeah, I think we all became very heritage proud then and it came out in the game. I had fun. Not only is this my third trip to the island this year, but I've been doing a lot of media, so you'll see me on TV, radio. I was at some parties as well, ATI, Dream Weekend, Sunfest. I couldn't have come here and not enjoyed the parties. I tell people it's part of our culture. Charity has always been important to me and my family, so I'm, I'm involved in some stuff here. Last time I was down at um, Denham Town Operation Restoration Christian School, as well as Mustard Seed, so I'll be visiting Mustard Seed again. And I spoke at the Marcus Garvey event last weekend, so some more events you know in that kind of line of work as well but I'm enjoying it I think as long as you enjoy it people can tell I was able to win Miss Jamaica UK during our 50th year of independence going into our 51st and just the, the celebrations that have really come out of Jamaica and across the diaspora I think to be a part of that I will never forget I will never ever forget I was born in the UK, um, my dad was born in Jamaica and my mum's parents are from Westmoreland. Both of my parents' families are from Westmoreland so I always visit there. So I definitely big up anyone from Westmoreland and country people, <laughs> you're my kind of people. But yeah, you know, I was born and raised in the UK, always visited Jamaica every single year. But I studied at some fantastic schools in the Midlands and I went to university in London, Westminster. So I got first class honours in November and then straight away won Miss Jamaica UK. Hi, I'm Gemma Fear, the current Miss Jamaica UK and you are watching Predis. Keep it locked. It's now time for our third and final commercial break. When we get back, you know, we have the Predis Caribbean top 10 chat and everything. We soon follow. It's brought to you by Rum Bar, Rum Cream. So take a walk. Soon follow.